Okay, in this video I want to talk about finding work uh, in conjunction with what's called Hooke's Law. Um, and this is the basic idea. Um, you, you, you use integration to calculate work when you have a force that's not constant. Um, is the basic idea. So um, what it says is, it says suppose an object moves along the x-axis in the positive direction from x equals a to x equals b, and at each point x in the uh, closed interval a to b, we're going to let f of x be the force on the object. Uh, the way we define the work is, we define work to be the integral from a to b of the function f of x dx. So it basically says to calculate work, you integrate over the force, um, the force function. So, um, what Hooke's Law says, it says, well, it says the force required to maintain a spring that stretched x units beyond its natural length, it says it's proportional to the distance that you stretch it, um, which basically says the force function is going to equal k times x. This value k is just what's called the spring constant. Okay, so let's do one simple example here in this video, and then I'm going to do some more complicated ones in a different one. Um, suppose we know that a force of 10 pounds is required to hold a spring stretched 4, in four inches beyond its natural length, and we want to know how much work is done in stretching it from its natural length to 6 inches beyond its natural length. So two things. Um, well, one thing. Uh, the units we use, we either use uh, newton meters or we use foot pounds um, is the standard. So we're going to convert all of our measurements in this case into, into feet, um, just so we can use the standard units of measurement. So OK, um, there's good old Hooke's Law. We'll leave that. We won't erase that. Okay, so we, what we want to calculate Okay, so I know I have to integrate over the force equation which is going to be kx dx because that's simply um, the force equation that goes with the spring and we're going to stretch it from its natural length which you can think as being a distance of uh, zero feet beyond its natural length and we want to stretch it 6 inches beyond its natural length. Well, there's 12 inches and a foot, so 6 out of 12, we're going to stretch it 1 half of a foot beyond its natural length. So that's what we want to calculate, but in order to do this, we're going to have to know the value for k, but obviously we're given information to figure that out. If we fill in our force equation, it says we have a force of 10 pounds, um, and so we have k times x, and we said a force of 10 pounds is required when you stretch it 4 inches beyond its natural length. So 4 inches um, is going to be 4 twelfths of a foot, or more simply, 4 inches is going to be 1 third of a foot. So if we multiply both sides by 3, we'll get that our spring constant in this, value, in this problem has value 30. Um, so now we're pretty much there. Um, all we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to integrate from 0 to 1 half. Uh, we know that k is 30, and then we just multiply that by x dx. And now it's an easy problem as, in, in, as far as integration problems go. So if we integrate, we'll get 30 um, x squared divided by 2 from 0 to 1 half. Well, 30 over 2 is simply 15 x squared from 0 to one half, and if we plug that in, we'll get 15 times one half squared. The lower limit of integration, when we plug it in, we're just plugging in zero. So one half times one half is one fourth. If you multiply that by 15, we'll get 15 fourths. Um, again, this is zero. So it says it's going to take 15 fourths uh, pounds worth of work. Okay. So nothing too crazy there. Usually, um, you have to be careful, really, just about uh, you know your your limits of integration. At least a lot of the problems I've seen, that's one place people will make a mistake. Um, and really, that's it. So all right, I hope this simple example helps. Like I said, I'm going to do at least two others in another video of uh, slightly slightly more difficult problems.